Hi, I'm Jonathan, and today we're going to be looking at a cool feature built into iPhoto. This feature is called Faces, and how it works is iPhoto analyzes all of your pictures and finds the people in them. You then tell iPhoto who each of those people are, and that way later, when you're looking for a photo of a specific person, it's going to be really easy to find. To follow along with this tutorial, you're going to want the 2011 version of iPhoto on any Mac and a collection of photos. If you have the 09 version of iPhoto, you can still follow along, although some of the features might look slightly different. So come on, let's take a look. So here's a copy of iPhoto with a handful of different pictures in it. If I go to the top left corner, you'll see a section marked Faces. If this is the first time you've clicked on it, you'll see a window very much like this. It's found some faces, and it wants me to identify who they are. To identify someone, I just click on the area marked Unname and type in their name. For instance, this is my grandfather, Philip Campbell. If I click on Show More Faces, it will try to find more people. I can simply click on Unnamed and type in the name. If I come across the face of someone that's in the background of a photograph or someone I don't wish to catalog in my faces selection, I can simply move my cursor on top of the photo and an X will appear in the top left corner. Click on that to remove the photo. I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more people. Okay, so now that I've got a couple of different people named in faces, I'm going to go ahead and click on the continue to faces. This is what the general faces interface looks like. I can move my cursor over any individual person to see the photos that I have selected of them. The faces feature is really smart, and it's already trying to guess who people are, so when I add more photos, I won't have to add them all in on a name by name basis. Here's an example. If I double click on myself, you can see a selection of photos that I've named myself in. But you'll also see at the bottom, it thinks it might have found an additional photo with me in it. If I confirm the additional faces, it will show the new picture, and I can simply click on it to confirm that it's me, or click on it twice to say that it's not me. If I click Done, iPhoto will continue to do some more analyzing, and look, it found another photo it thinks might be me. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that. Well, that's not me, that's my grandfather, so I'm going to click twice to remove it, and click Done. If I go back to Faces, and I go to Fill Up here, and say Confirm Additional Faces, you'll see it found a selection that might be him. Rather than having to click on each one individually, I can simply find the gray space to the side of one of the photos, click and hold, and then drag my finger across. This makes what we call a marquee selection. Basically, anything that touches the gray box will be confirmed. I click Done, and it adds those pictures to the faces list. I can go back to confirm additional faces, click to confirm, double click to reject, and then click Done. After a while, I'll have a very nice selection of faces where I can quickly find any picture of any individual person I want. Another way to add faces is to go into the photos themselves. I'm going to go back over to Events, and I'm going to select this group of photos here. You'll see I have a photo of my father and his two sisters when they were much younger. If I click the Info button in the bottom right hand corner, it's going to open up a side panel, and you'll see boxes appear next to each person. I can click on Named, and then simply type in the name of that person. As you'll see, it did not locate my father's face. To add him, I'm simply going to go to the top right hand side of the screen and click where it says Add Face. A box will appear, and I simply drag it over and resize it on top of the face I'd like to add. Now I can click to add the name, and simply type in the name of the person. If I go back to Faces now, you'll see the people I added appearing on my list. To quickly check to see faces that have not been identified yet, you can always go back to that original view by clicking on the Find Faces button on the bottom right hand corner. Here, I can manually add in names really quickly. Here, I'll write in, that's me, Jonathan. I hit the Tab key on the keyboard. I can move to the next name, type in Jonathan, Tab, Jonathan, Tab, and I can click on Show More Faces, go to the next list. I can quickly remove and add, add faces, and eventually I'll have a complete list. Once you've got all your faces named and categorized, it's really easy to find a great picture of yourself or a family member. 
So this is just one of the really cool features you can find in iPhoto, and we're going to do future videos on other ways of organizing, sorting, and sharing your photos. We're also going to do another video on how to tag pictures of your animals, such as dogs and cats, which are not supported in the Faces feature. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment. If you'd like to see videos about other subjects, let me know.